Hi, I'm Natasha, um, and I will be unboxing today my second Odin's Eye mystery box. This one is the larger of the two boxes, um, and I'm really excited to see what's inside. I'm hoping that there's not jewelry in here because I really did not buy this for jewelry. I make jewelry, so it's sort of one of those things where it's like, um, I don't necessarily need a lot of jewelry that is designed by another person, but we'll see. Um, so this is totally unedited first impressions of this box. Odin's Eye is my favorite brand of um, eyeshadow and makeup. I discovered them last year through another um, influencer YouTuber, um, and I fell in love with the Christmas palettes and was able to actually get them this year. Um, if you look at my other video, you'll see that I just opened, um, one of the small boxes and inside of the small box, I got two different palettes, both limited edition. One of them is the little ghost palette and the other is Hey Reindeer, two of my absolute favorite palettes. And then I got a single of the Jewel Shine eyeshadow in the color Olivia and one of these little, um, boxes where you can put the eyeshadow inside, uh, to protect it. Um, so I feel like this is a really good, um, grab here. So I'm hoping this next one will be similar. Um, so I'm opening it and right away I see one of the little jewelry pouches. I have to say I'm hoping it's going to be one of the pearl pieces and not the, like, abalone shell heart. I have a feeling it's going to be probably the abalone shell heart because that's what a lot of people are getting as, like, the first piece that they get in the box. So I'm trying not to get too ahead of myself, but what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. This is a piece I actually didn't see a lot of people getting inside of their boxes and it's kind of cool. Um, all right. I can definitely work with this. I can definitely wear these. And this is one of the pieces that I liked more than um, some of the others. And it is... Um, a piece with um it's an earring and it has like a little ear cuff um where you wear the earring on the bottom i believe and then the ear cuff goes up on top which is pretty badass and i fully like it um and as you can see it's kind of like um a crystal heart this is a little bigger than i would normally wear for earrings um i tend to wear things that are not necessarily understated but um just don't look quite this uh quite this large but as you can see it is from that little um pearl collection i was talking about so i did like some of the items in the pearl collection and then the other earring um is like just the heart so it's an asymmetrical piece which is really cool i love asymmetry in jewelry um a lot of my jewelry pieces are asymmetrical um and that's actually something i can see myself definitely wearing maybe to do a burlesque piece um, or something else where I need a lot of um, bling. I am seeing a, another palette on top here. Um, another one of my uh, favorites, though. Uh, ooh, I have. There's one in here I don't have. Um, okay, so this next one is one that I do have. This is the Stone and Rock palette. It's more like on the kind of like green and like um, like grungy green side of things. Um, it's a very gorgeous palette. Um, maybe I'll have to make a video after this that shows um, all of these palettes open. Um, the ones that I already have, I'm not opening because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to open them in case I give them as a gift or I choose to sell them. Um, but this is a really, really excellent um, series as well. Um, and this came out um, along with the jewelry pieces. Um, these were all like in a collection together. Um, this is not my favorite palette from that two palette collection. My favorite would have, would have been the, um, I believe it's called gems and stone or gems and the, I'm just going to call it the gemstone palette. I can't remember the exact name. Um, but that one is a bit more colorful. This one is a bit more like on the like mossy green side. So that's pretty good. So far, I know that there's going to be four full-size palettes um, total in these two boxes. 
So here is one that I do not have. It is the Norn palette. Um, and I believe, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. At least I don't, yeah, I have one that looks similar to this, but it is, oh no, it's the Alba. The Alba is the one I have, so I do not have this. So that's really exciting because it means that I get to open it um, and show it to you. I believe this um, may or may not be one of the limited edition ones that is currently sold out. Either way, it's something I don't have, so that makes me really happy um, because obviously when you're collecting a specific brand, you want to get um, all of the pieces, including the ones that have been discontinued. So as you can see, it has really gorgeous, absolutely stunning artwork, as all of the Odin's Eye palettes do. Oh, one thing I have to say is I'm also really happy to see that I did not receive a, um, what's it called? Planet. Oh, it's from that like three, the release that was done with the three, um, there was the garden one and the ocean one, ocean talk, and then the planet spirit palette. Um, I saw that in every other box that was opened and I'm just so glad I didn't get it because I have it and I haven't really dipped into it. It's not that I don't absolutely love it. It's just that really, really bright pink and bright green isn't, isn't my like go-to. I do love pink and green, just more on the muted side, like the garden one. So this is definitely something I don't have at all. So very exciting for me. Um, very much worth it. Beautiful palette. I mean, I am absolutely in love with the color story of all, pretty much all of the um, Odin's Eye palettes. But I mean, this color green chameleon over here is absolutely a stunning dark teal. And it would look so good with this color hallucination over here. And me personally, I think I would... Um, Maybe use this with the gemstone palette um, and some of the purples in there and, and do something with the greens and this purple as well as the purples from the other palette. Also really loving this color called Optimism, um, which is kind of like a gray, but it has sort of a um, almost like rose gold fleck to it. Um, and it's very just like beautiful and neutral, but like will really make a lot of these other brighter colors pop, like seriously pop. So that is really exciting. I'm very happy about that. Um, I see another big palette in here and I also see several small, um, from the several small single shadows from the Jewel Shine series. So the first one, also my favorite. I'm pretty, I'm actually kind of uh, surprised how, how well these match me. Um, so this is actually my favorite color in the entire collection. It's a little hard to see. I'll have to do a video that shows these. But this is actually uh, Thor, which is a purple that has shifts to a little bit of like, almost like a um, coppery, orangey, rose gold sort of thing. Um, and it has just a lot of shift to it. It's a really gorgeous um, and beautiful pigmented color. And the first time I received it, you can see the orange coming out when um, when I'm showing it to you now, but if you saw it in person, it would look mostly um, plum purple. Um, but the first time I got it, it was, it came totally cracked and I was so upset and they replaced it right away. So I was very happy with that. Um, the second item I am seeing is another one of these. So, um, but not in the same color. Um, so that one also was a multi-chrome versus a duochrome. So it, it costs more than a duochrome. Um, this one is Lucy, um, and I don't know if Lucy is a duochrome or a multi-chrome, um, but it looks kind of like a, almost like a pumpkin-y, um, really beautiful orange. Like, I'm loving this orange. I'll definitely, um, I don't think I have that one. There's, um, I have most of the Jewel Shine series. Um, all of the multi-chromes, but um, some of the <clears throat> dual chromes I did not pick up. Um, so, next I have 
Oh, and this isn't this is one I know I don't have. It's one of the duo chromes. Um, I didn't buy it just because there were um, some multi chromes that were in a similar um, like color family, but um, I did want this one. It's a very like brilliant, brilliant silver, and the name of this one is Samuel. I love this like pattern that they also imprint. So along with those, we have three of the single shadow containers, which is thoughtful. I do appreciate that. And then lastly, we have to go along with what I got in the other package, the trick or treat palette. So the trick or treat palette is another one that I do have, but, um, it is absolutely stunning. Um, I like Little Ghost more than Trick or Treat, but these are two of the most amazing palettes that I have ever seen in my life. I know these ones sold out super fast. Um, I wasn't even to get, able to get the free gift that came with them this time um, because I was in the car driving when they dropped and I literally got to a parking lot and um, bought them two minutes after they had dropped um, in my area and I still missed out on the um, exclusive items that you could get as like one of the first however many buyers. Um, so I am honestly very, very happy um, with what came out of this box. I'll have to definitely show you some swatches as well as some, um, some oh, I'll show you these palettes opened so that you can um, think about um, if this is something that um, you would want to buy for yourself in the future. Um, some of these palettes are discontinued, others not. Um, some of them are still available online. I don't know, I know the Rock, Stone and Rock one is. Um, I'm not sure about the um, Halloween release from this year. I know that um, Hey Reindeer was still available recently, but sometimes goes out. Um, and I don't know about the Norns palette, but I'm pretty sure it isn't because I feel like I would have bought that one. Um, but, you know, don't quote me on that. Um, I do follow them pretty, pretty well, but like not, not perfectly. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed um, this uh, reaction. I'm actually really happy. Um, I'm happy to see that I didn't get tons of jewelry because I saw people like opening it and getting like, you know, two or whatever pieces of jewelry per box um and I have to say this was definitely um in my opinion worth the money I mean that's a lot of palettes to get one two three four five full-size palettes and um four of the jewel shine um single shadows and then one pouch with a pair of earrings in it so honestly if you broke that down it um, I, I did use a code, so, um, I mean, I paid something over $100, I don't remember exactly what, but it really ends up breaking down to being, you know, a pretty solid price when it's, like, just over maybe $20, $25 per palette, um, and if you look at their original price, um, several of these palettes are priced at near 40 to start with, so that's pretty amazing. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.